Bye, Bert. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I don't know where the Minister's gone on a long journey in an electric car. You can often travel dozens, perhaps over 100 miles, without finding a rapid charger. Exactly. When you get to a rapid charger, the name is a misnomer because national, the, the national Grid can't deliver the amount of power necessary. Even if you get to one that's working, it's often full because of the number of electric cars now on the road and you end up with a queue of half an hour or more to wait. So when is the government going to develop a proper national network? Yeah, yeah. So what should be a pleasant day out for motorists doesn't become hours of planning in advance, then hours of frustration and delay on the journey. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Well, I thank the Honourable for his question. Uh, he'll be aware that there were very specific problems over Christmas, and, of course, we recognise that, uh, uh, and uh, those had to do with the adverse weather conditions as well as particular concerns of the season. But there is a wider problem, and he's right to mention it, and that's why we'll be promoting regulations uh, in due course which require 99% reliability and other standards as well as transparency across charge points in order to address some of the points he raises. Jim Shaw. Yeah. Marco Longe. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. When hypocritical, wealthy, woke lefties cut off motorways, they aren't just damaging people's jobs and damaging the economy, they are potentially killing people by not allowing ambulances and other blue light services to pass. Does the Minister agree with me that we can perhaps help them save the environment, save the environment by locking them up, perhaps with the gas and electric switched off? Well, I thank my honourable so friend Mr. for putting that question in his own direct, inimitable way. Um, he, will, he will hopefully be pleased to know that we're working very closely with uh, council and Home Office officials to make sure we can follow all legal avenues to pursue those who are arrested for protest activity. The injunctions mean we can take swifter action. Uh, the courts obviously have to hand down the penalties. Thirteen Insulate Britain protesters received immediate custodial sentences ranging from 24 days to six months, and evidence is being reviewed from the gantry protest to support committal proceedings against over 50 additional protesters. Fiona Bruce. 